It's just that it's not really morning here in Singapore. It's actually 9 p.m. and I took a nap. I just woke up and I'm hungry and I'm craving for cereals. That's me. At night, I always crave for cereals. And welcome to the Wikimers channel, guys. And I thought of sharing with you and showing you what I have been loving lately since I'm gonna prepare. You know, anything goes. Whatever my tummy tells me to prepare. But if you're a cereal freak, it's very healthy of course and this is what I have been loving lately if you have watched my vlog with E of the one of those vlogs <clears throat> I was able to get this wheat Bix and it says here NZ's number one breakfast cereal which is New Zealand and it says here 97% whole grain high fiber all those thing about jiggers the picture I don't know it looks strange but this is the last box when I went there and it was a pretty good deal and must be good because it's the last box is on sale and people like it I actually transferred it in a container because there's a lot of product in there seriously this is the box and there's a one pile of like this Seriously, seriously it's like this one bar or like this one piece is really enough it's really good, but it's just that because I'm more of the semi-sweet type of cereal girl, so if you're the type who is fine with plain or normal tasting cereal, this is really good. And come on, man. I don't know. I think I have counted it in, what, almost 60, if I'm not mistaken, 60, 50 to 60 rectangular pieces of um, cereals were inside. And oh my god, it's really worth the money, you know? And it's pretty good really makes me full the whole day compared to this one this is the alpen original alpen if you've and also watched my um cereals 101 i've been raving about cereals and since i'm lazy to go to boogies to get that because that's the only place i have seen you know a store that sells it i opted for this one this is readily available at um cold storage also giant R4, I'm not so sure, I haven't checked yet. And E spotted this one. This has a bonus dietary of snack bars if you would like to uh, call it. This that. is double chocolate. Uh, I haven't tried it though. Yep. Yeah. So this is what the box looks like. <clears throat> so what you see in there here. There you go. I've also transferred it in a container. I don't like to, you know, keep um, them in the plastic. It's like this. This is really, really good because this is semi sweet. The blue one is the original. It's unsweetened but this one is semi-sweet and it's really nice it has that raisins and the crunchy hazelnuts is there and the oh my god the almonds the rolled oats is really really good and they're overall it's really crispy i tend to eat this without milk you know really 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 nice i can stop raving you know about this is it really, really good i am not a raisin person but i love and it See, okay, I was able to spot see one. this almond. This is the one that I always look for. It's really, it's really good. So that's that. Sometimes in the morning, I usually eat this because this is unsweetened, right? So I take one rectangular piece of cereal. <laughs> I was about to say the other bad thing. Yeah, I'm so bad. And combine it with this yeah. one. So it's pretty okay. But this one, I'm telling you, the original Alpen, this red one. After four hours, it really makes me crave for food. Seriously, I like this one when I eat this alone. I am full for like eight hours. I am serious. I don't know why, if it's my metabolism or what. But with this one, with this Alpen, I'm doomed. I may have the satisfaction that I'm, you know, eating very, very good cereals. But, oh my god, expect after four hours i am so hungry so i usually use this milk i love this milk and this is farmhouse fresh milk i usually get fresh milk for my cereal and this is from australia as well and another one this is australian milk also this is san benedetto 
it, look at the bottle, it's pretty nice, right? It's pretty, 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 pretty. It's like cow's milk. <laughs> See? Fresh milk in your face. I'm craving for mango or orange when I woke up. And this is right, mango juice. I'm loving this as well. No, I'm not putting this into my cereal, alright? This is <laughs> this really nice. And, and it's not really too sweet. It's just really pure mango period, just nice. Um, sometimes I just drink this cold without okay, this ice. This is manufactured by Australian Fruit Juice. I don't know, it's from Singapore? I'm not really sure. But if you can spot this brand, try this. This is one of the best mango juice, mango puree that I've tasted. Now I'm gonna show you what I will be mm. making or doing. Or, I don't know, or... anything goes. Alright? I'll see right, you in a I'm really hungry. <clears throat> if this is anything goes, you know me. I always like to experiment with my... <clears throat> Cheerios. Oh my god, my voice. Sorry. I'm in the mood for this with this. We got a chance to try this one. I don't know. I think this one is around seven or eight dollars. It was in promo that time, and there's a lot of product inside. I am telling you, this is not the overall content of what's inside the box. I still have another container that is like this. Crazy, right? And I have already eaten a few like, times of you know of this cereal already, and I don't know. It feels like I'm gonna finish this in year what 2021 or something. There so, you go. um, all right, I am in the mood for this one, as I've said. Yep, you've met my little twin star smug over here, and I like to do my cereals using this a mug, not a bowl, really. So, I take one of this since my hands are. Alright, let me show you. See, that's what the actual product or cereal looks like. As I've said, it's really filling for how many hours and it doesn't make me hungry. Anyway, I don't know. It's really hard to find a good cereal that will, you know, satisfy you. Like, make makes you full and then will make you hungry after a few hours and stuff like that. So, that's it. I just put C, just one. You see that just one and it's ready full. Anyway, the name is San Benedetto. If I am not butchering the name, I hope I'm not butchering the name. This is like cow's milk no, or goat's milk. Oh no, it's like carabao's milk. Not really cow's milk, um, carabao's milk. Right? It's so white. It's like the one in the provinces. <laughs> oh, I love that. It's nothing beats the freshness of that milk. So I will just be like now, I'm gonna be putting this. What a lovely sight, right? So there. I don't fill it to the brim, just a quarter. And then, you know, you can like allow it or soften on its own. And see, it's like that. Usually it breaks on its own. It's really nice. So, see, just when you thought that you don't have enough, right? But see that. That's a lot. See, and now it's like filling up my cup already. And then I usually have sun kissed here. So, if you think that I don't put mango juice, I put orange juice. Fresh orange squeezed juice on my cereal. I've tried this one time and it's what it makes me insane. So, just like that. I'm using fresh sun kissed. Ooh like that just like that and there you go you just mixed it for me i don't like to you know disturb my cereals like this what i'm doing now i'm just you know doing this because i want to show you guys but i don't want to disturb them i would i want to eat it with like i can see the cereals is you know this this chock full of cereals like that and then i munch on it so the rest i eat the fruit <laughs> and Vitamin C, of course. If, and that's about it. If you want to try this, try it. And I don't know if you're gonna like the idea that I have squeezed in some fresh, um, sun kissed here. I liked it, but I don't know with you guys. But tell me if you do try and like this. I haven't one. tried any kinds of oranges yet, but I am sticking into sun kissed orange juice because they're so good. They're so fresh. You know, Mandarin and orange juice. I'm, I'm not really sure, but uh, yeah. So I'm telling you, sun-kissed juice for my cereals, my wet mix is really good. So what I do is cover this one, let it rest for a few minutes or so. And then sometimes I feel like 
bringing it to the fridge for a while two to three minutes just make it a bit cold and i am good but now since i'm hungry i'm so gonna munch on this after now. i say bye bye to you guys there's a consistency the milk is already thick and the orange just gives it a very pleasant smell the sweetness of the milk and the a bit bitterness of the sunkiss juice just makes my palate go wild so yep that's about it guys i haven't been updating my cereals 101 lately so i just thought of sharing this with you and i just do hope you're gonna try this for all you cereal freaks out there and i am so gonna see you guys on my next video thanks for watching the wikamos channel guys bye bye can you see my smile <laughs> bye guys thanks for watching